Hello, everyone. I'm Kyle Kramer, the Executive Director at the Earth and Spirit Center. And yes, I have said that intro 400,000 times. And someone talked to me recently, and I don't know any other better way to start it, but because I'm still Kyle and I'm still the Executive Director. <laughs> but I am here with Mary Underwood. Hi, Mary. Hi, Kyle. So Mary is going to be one of our instructors in our summer meditation series, which begins with Mary's session on May 10th and runs four weeks. It's going to be here uh, at the barn in person um, uh, from 630 to 8 uh, in the evenings on Tuesdays. And this is, this is our way to get folks back in the barn, connected with each other, not on Zoom, uh, we're really uh, thrilled that, that uh, the restrictions have loosened, at least at this point, uh, such that that's possible. So Mary, our summer series are always a series of, of, of varied instructors and varied topics, all under the general theme of meditation and, and mindful awareness. And uh, now that I've got you as a captive audience, uh, as, as one of our instructors, I'm wondering, first of all, if you can share, I know that your topic is going to be uh, nature po nature's poetry, writing in rhythm with nature. So tell us, before you maybe say a, a bit about what that session will be like as, as a sample of the four, maybe you can say a word or two about your own background and nature connection. I know we just got finished recording a podcast last week, so, so I'm primed to hear this again. Um, uh, Mary, who are you and, and uh, what is your connection with nature and creativity? Um, well, Kyle, I, uh, I love nature. I find it to be my happy, most inspiring, most grounded place. Um, yep. I do a lot of hiking and a lot of running and rock climbing. Um, and so and when I, you say a lot of hiking, I'm going to interrupt here because you hiked the entire 2,600 mile Pacific crest trail. That's a lot of hiking. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's, that's probably my, my big nature street cred. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, lots of, lots of time outdoors. It shall not um, go unmentioned. <laughs> yeah. But I also, I'm really inspired by empowering people to be creative. So that's the, mm. the writing side. I, I write myself. And I think a lot of times we feel like we have to um, be good at something, mm. but I feel that creativity is really our birthright as humans. And even if it's terrible and you put it in a drawer and never look at it again, it can be such a, an empowering way um, for people to connect with nature and break open spiritual truths. And I'm, I'm gonna play off that because I totally agree that creativity is by definition doing something new and doing something new is almost by definition doing it badly because you've not done it before. So I, <laughs> that's just my, <laughs> so own <true>. little, <laughs> my own little shorthand for when I get blocked uh, in doing anything. So you will invite folks who, who do or don't have, have consider themselves to be uh, creatively adept people. And, and how will you or what will you invite them into? That's correct. Um, we are going to be doing some creative expression in nature. Uh, a lot of it's going to be writing, um, but if you don't like to write, you can bring markers or watercolor paints, and there will be no critique at all. Um, just some general lighthearted exercises to kind of awaken you to the possibilities of just being on the land and then seeing what flows out of you. Yeah, well, and what more creative place to exercise creativity than the creativity of the natural world, which is, especially in this season of spring, amazingly uh, fecund and, and prolific. So Mary, we're so happy to have you part of our work at the center. We're thrilled that you're, you're teaching as part of this series. Again, this is the, the summer series, uh, summer meditation series. It's on our website at www.earthandspiritcenter.org. It begins with Mary's opening session on the 10th of May and uh, runs Tuesday evenings, uh, four, four evenings from 6.30 to 8. So Mary, we're very much looking forward to it and thank you so much. Thank you, Kyle. I'm looking forward to it.